fuck? That's fucking illegal. Who the fuck is that guy? Go fuck yourself. Is that clear? I hope it is. live we're live what's happening honey oh you know so much today was was Jeez. a doozy of a day i feel like so much and so little has happened in the past week that i don't even know i'm actually fine that's dude that was like all <laughs> i said to it. it was like i'm fine i'm, I'm fine. fine i'm fine because it was an awful day at work and everybody kept asking me like hey how can i help what can i do what can i do and i was just like i'm fine it's like you I'm can fine. help but not i'm talking fine to me right now i'm or, fine let me just do my work please i'm fine were you holding back tears yeah Oh, God. That kind of day, huh? Yeah. It was bad. Lord. And that doesn't sound like much, because like, I used to cry every, at least once a week. Yeah, but, but I that's haven't been a while. in a long time. Like, I've gotten my sh together. My sh together? Um, but yeah, today was rough. Yeah. It was just really busy, and like I felt like I couldn't keep up. Yeah. But I'm with you there. I made it through. We did. At least I got paid for the extra hour I was at work. What, what? <laughs> you, don't, you don't get paid if you're at work extra. I don't. I am salaried. Um, uh, what else? This weekend was a clusterfuck wait a of things. Wait a minute, I'm trying to go back to last Tuesday. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, okay. Um, I got contacts. Yes, <laughs> which is so, very weird because you cannot have anything so close listen, to your eyes. Listen, I've been wearing glasses for a couple years, but like you don't wear them as often as you well, should. Well, so I've been prescribed glasses. It's been mostly for reading. Yeah, past couple of years, I'm like, oh, I just need them when I read. Haven't been wearing them at work, really, even though the majority of my work is reading. Yeah. Um, and I get headaches all the time at work. And I figured out that that's why. <laughs> well, do it live! Fuck it! <clears throat> so the last time I went to the eye doctor, I was like, hey, eye doc, listen. I don't wear my glasses at work. Do you think if I wore contacts, it would, would help? Work. And then I could keep them in all day. Because, like, I'll start out with the glasses. Yeah. And then I'll just, like, start taking them off. Like, I'll get frustrated and be thinking about something. And, like, for some reason, I'll just take them off. Yeah. So and then you never put them back. Anyways, on. she so she was like, "Yeah, cool." For you, it's also weird because, like, for me, I'm near nearsighted, so I can't see far away. Yeah, it's very like it's shitty. Yeah, it's very shitty. See, my but mom, you can see far away. Yeah, you can't see up close as well as I can, clear. I can see up close. It's just very, 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 very blurry. Very blurry. Or, yeah, like so it's not to the point where I far. can't see it. Yeah, it's just blurry, which kind of makes it hard because i get in my head at the eye doctor i'm like yeah i can read that but it's super blurry so like i read it and she's like yeah your vision's great i'm like yeah do you tell them hurt. that though? yeah yeah okay I've, i learned that the hard way because the first couple times i didn't i, I just mean, read it and they were like yeah you ooh, barely I need pa them i passed with flying colors yeah. it's like yeah then you're yeah, gonna yeah. suffer like, like, shitty vision for a year. Them. and I'm like yeah okay i can make out the letters but like yeah my head hurts and it is very blurry um anyways sorry um, yeah, how was so, the training? So, so I had to go back for a training on how to use contacts. Yeah, yeah, now, it's, it's you, normal, like a I fitting made, and training. Yes. So I made the appointment, and I was like, "This is stupid." Like, my husband wears contacts. I've seen him do it for ten years now. <laughs> like, my mom has worn contacts all my life. I used to like watch her put in contacts. Like, yeah. I've helped her get them out if they go to like the back of her eye. Yeah. Like, so I I got this. I was mm. so cocky. I was not. I guess I'm getting stupid, Lewis. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I got this. Yeah. I can put in contacts. <laughs> so I get there, and it's just me and our uh, almost one and a half year old. Yeah, our, our toddler. It's so much easier to say that than he's. He's a toddler. December 12th, He's 17 months, 16 and a half months. Okay. Yeah, he's almost a year and a half. All right. I'm not one of those people. He's 87 weeks old. Like, no. Um, it's 1,722 <laughs> days and 40 minutes. No, it's more like less. I don't know. Three, 500 days, 300, 400 days. Okay. Either way. I got you, you psycho. Not the point. Uh, uh, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. You had it's me and our son. You? Just me and our son at the eye doctor. Yeah. And immediately I get PTSD from the two weeks prior when I went for our checkup and our oldest made the youngest like spill his cheerios everywhere yeah. to the point that the eye doctor finished up with me and then the the stuff reception is with me they came up to you and they're like i'm sorry sir we're running a little behind today and yeah. i was like that's my fault 
mm-hmm. they're like, oh, no, it's fine. And then, my, and then I'm like, no, I was literally the first first and only appointment so far today. Like, it's fine. I, it is your fault. It is my fault. So immediately I'm like, oh, fuck, I got to make sure he, like, behaves today because last time it was such, like, an ordeal. And so they're like, okay. And then I hear them behind the desk talking about. Like, God damn it, that oh, fucking bitch is here again. Mind you also, this is probably all irrelevant, but I'm chatty, whatever. Okay. Uh, mind you, also, this was at, like, 3.45 was my appointment time. Yeah. And we had to pick up our oldest kid between 4.20 and 4.40. Yes. So, I'm already pushing it a little bit. Um, But yeah. I was like, it's fine, I got this. So, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and then I hear them behind the desk talking about, well, what, should you do this one? Well, it's just a fitting, I can do that. Mm-hmm. Well, what about, what, can you do... Let's have so and so do. Like they, they were like, were you, were you in the back just like hearing them? You're like, I can hear you guys. <laughs> but yeah, they were arguing over, not arguing. I guess they were trying to decide who was going to teach me, and it's like they knew. Um, so they take me and him to this teeny tiny little corner office. Yeah, that was probably not ever an office. It was like a water cooler corner or something. Okay, and she's like, okay, well, um, me was your best friend. Take your finger and do this. So I That's tried. the training. I mean, in fewer words. Fewer words? No, I was saying fewer words. Oh. It was more in-depth than that, but I'm trying to speed the story along. Like, I'm not going to sit here okay, and give you no, a contact no, no. lesson you. for 30 minutes. Um, but she was like, yeah, that's how you do it. You know, whatever. Use the mirror. If they just walk in and they're like, you got this, bitch. Like, no, that's, no, no, that's no. That's kind of... No, no, no. She educated me. I just don't want to give you the exact same lesson. All right. Well, I know how to. Exactly. I'm aware. <laughs> Not the point of my story. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying. I'm practicing. And I'm thinking, yeah, this is great. My finger gets to my eyeball. And immediately my eyelids are like, nope. Yoink. Nope. Yoink. Um, so I struggled to keep my eyeballs open. Yeah. And then I was, like, nervous. So it made it worse. And then I felt, like, embarrassed for a little bit. Okay. And then I was nervous. Why are you then- embarrassed? Because the baby's making noise, like he's getting tired and fussy and doesn't want to be here anymore. I'm worried about getting the kids on time, and this lady's just staring at me like, okay, do, do it, it. Bitch. do it. Do it, bitch, you won't. Um, eventually, I got it. Yeah. And then she was like, okay, well, now we have to go and check like the placement and your vision with the contacts. Which makes sense, how they're fitting and all that, yeah. Cool, but not a good idea for like someone putting in contacts for the first time ever in their entire life. Why not? Because when they took me back for the, just to see if it was in the right place or whatever, yeah. my eyes were still not clear. What do you mean they weren't Like clear? there were parts that were blurry and that felt so weird. Like my brain was still trying to tell me that like there's something in my eyeball, blink and get it out. Oh, I don't remember. Like nowadays, nowadays, three days later, um, I don't, it doesn't feel that bad. Like it takes a second to get used to it, but then right. eventually it's like, okay, this helps me like. See? Yeah. <laughs> this helps brain. Don't try to kick it out. Right. Um, but that first time it was terrible. And they're like, Hey, read this. And I'm like, just I guess, can't. I'm just guessing it's so blurry. I'm guessing. And I'm just praying that I'm guessing close to the right letter number. Like we whatever. Made her dumber. Yeah. Meanwhile, the, the, the little one was watching miss Rachel on my phone. Yeah. And, um, he had like swiped up or something and he's going, uh, 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 cause he wants to get her back. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's a little it was a Neanderthal. It's a hot mess. He is. He is. Like, he'll. It blows my mind because I feel like he's smart because he, like, understands you. Yeah. But, like, he's he very won't observant. say anything. No. And he grunts for everything. Yes. Uh, also, he's got two older sisters that speak for him. 100% that is true. Of the time. That is true. So, like, all he has to say is, uh, and they'll both be like, oh, do you want this? You need this? You need this is what you need. Here's this. Right. Here you go. Do you need this? It's true, though. And But, like, he says very minimal things, like, kind of, like, up sometimes. Yeah. This, uh, da-da. Da-da, dog. Dog. Sometimes he'll get the mama. mama. Yeah. It's That's usually, like, it. da-da and dog. And this. 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 This, but he understands this. so well. Like you can be like, "Hey, can you get down? Like get down." Well, or even like more <laughs> com- on things more now. complex things. Like, "Hey, can you put this fireman inside the fire truck?" And he'll take the little fireman action figure and find the fire truck and he'll put it in there. Right. 
Yeah. So he understands. He's smart. You change his diaper, and he'll grab the diaper and go throw it in the trash can for you. Oh, and if he doesn't grab the diaper, he just walks to the trash can and waits yep. for you to like put it yep. in the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like, he's smart. He knows things. He just won't verbalize it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not, not, not his priority right now. Uh, his walking is getting a lot better. Oh, as yeah. As he usually tends to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, he now tries i don't know if you noticed this he tries to walk first no i haven't noticed that yeah he's been like standing up and then trying to walk as far as he can and and then he'll topple over okay but yeah it's uh he's the mobile. last time we get to do this Woo! Ugh. don't uh me i guess there's fucking potty training dude this is the last time we're gonna have to do that shit too. oh that's gonna suck so i don't know how to potty train a boy Hey, see the backyard? Piss there. Really? I hear upset? people say that that, that, that that's how they do it and it works really well, but like, is that okay? I guess, yeah. It's fenced. I don't necessarily give a shit to you. Well, he doesn't have to aim. Right. All it's right. It's like, don't piss into the wind, son, and you'll be okay. Or do. You only do it once. Mm. Maybe twice. Kids are stupid. They'll do, they'll do more than <laughs> Kids once. are dumb maybe twice. <laughs> uh, Yeah. But no, it's uh, uh, what else? You said you wanted to go back all the way to Tuesday. That I just want to talk about that because I thought that was funny. Because I remember um, when when we left after I made the contact appointment, appointment, I, I remember you, you laughing and telling the like receptionist or the aide or whatever their title is, yeah, uh, I hooker to record it, yeah, because it was gonna be funny. And this whole time I'm like, it's not gonna be funny. It's gonna be so easy. It's just bloop. Yeah. And like, I still it can't wasn't. get him in on the first try. It takes me. It still takes me a good like ten minutes. <laughs> but I get him in eventually. <laughs> That's good. How about getting them out? I'm getting a lot better at getting them out. Okay. Um, that was the part that I remember freaked me out initially. So one the other day I did get scared because I pulled my lid down and I pulled the lens away, and I went to pinch it, and I'm. I think I pinched my eyeball. Nice. That's good. Don't do that. Like, I don't know if I pinched my eyeball or if I pinched the contact and just freaked out because I couldn't see. Uh huh. But yeah. Did it hurt? Uh, well, no, because as soon as I saw it moving and it was more white than l that, like, light blue color, I like You uh, let it go. Yeah, you're pinching way too hard if you're grabbing eyeball. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I've I never panic heard of because that. I'm like this and I pull it down, but now I can't see what I'm doing. Do you have them in now? No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, I'll pull it down, yeah. and then I have to look down to grab it, but I can't look at my finger. Does that make sense? Peripherals, motherfucker. Like, I need mirror. to use my right eyeball to look in the mirror to see this. Right. But it's still too close for this, so I'm like... You're right. Whatever. You're a mess. Just know I'm improving. We'll update next week. Yeah. I don't um, remember when I had to initially wear contacts, because I was... 12, I want to say. Yeah. Well, mind you, like... When I started wearing them. I can't even do eye drops. Oh, I know. Like, it I use it the whole bottle on my whole face before I get one drop in my eye. Very economic, yeah. Not really that much, but I do use at least, like, six drops before I get it one in my eye. It definitely looks like you're crying anytime you put eye drops in. Yeah, it looks mainly. like I'm... Yeah. Cause, it's pouring down my face, and then yeah. my shirt gets soaked because I, like, try to dab it or rub it. Yeah. It's quite... But it's okay. I'm, thing I am I learning and I'm getting better. Cook a cow. That is all. Um, we went, well, f mm, what day did this happen? What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday we went to jujitsu. Yeah, you came back. I went to, I came back, which is exciting. Yeah, how was that? Uh, it was wonderful. It was like I was really nervous because <laughs> I didn't know any of the guys in there except for you and our coach. Uh, yeah, we know Sean. Well, at the time, like I still I knew I kn knew him, but I couldn't place his face in my head. If that makes sense, I got you. Like, I was like, yeah, I remember that name from that school, but I don't remember which guy he was. Who he was. Um, yeah. But mind you, like I I know him. I know of him. I've never rolled with him. Um, I don't know. But anyways, I was just nervous because like, and also yeah. like at the other school too, like with the kids on the sidelines, I was always just anxious because they weren't, <laughs> they wouldn't just chill. 
Yeah, and they didn't this time either. But the issue, the, not the issue, the good thing that worked out is it's a very open, big space. Yes. It's all matted. Yes. The walls are padded. Everything is good to go. Right. And the two older ones, they train there now too. So they know where all of our, I want to say toys. They're not, they're not really toys. They're like training cones and like, I guess the balls, the foam balls that they yeah. play dodgeball with are toys. Yeah. But uh, they, they grabbed those out and they stayed at the other side. It was just nice because like I, they could play. They were having a good time. I could still watch them. Yeah. And they're not allowed. I which could is check n- on them and still pay attention. Yeah. And I wasn't worried about their like, not safety, but not that the place was unsafe. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, of all places for a toddler that's learning how to walk, that's yeah. one of the best. Well, the other school, like, I guess was a little smaller and... Like, it was two little spaces instead of one big space? It wasn't even two little spaces. It was one Originally space. Originally, yeah, it was one little space. Yeah. And it's... Uh, Either way. Yeah, the kids were playing, having a good time. It was... They were having fun. Yeah, no. It felt good to be back and be moving. Mm-hmm. We didn't do anything crazy. I think no. we just did side escapes. For some reason, I still get really nervous rolling with other people besides you. Why? Because, like... When I watch it, I'm like, yeah, that looks super easy. That makes sense. And then I go to do it and I'm like, fuck, what am I doing? <laughs> That's normal though. But like, I feel bad rolling with people like, I don't feel. Matt wouldn't give a shit. I don't feel bad for you because you're my husband and you get me. Okay. But I feel bad for like, well, I feel bad for you too. But most people, because like, I I feel like they're not learning anything if they're just sitting there like waiting no. for me to try to get the move and I'm not getting it. That's not true. There, there are things you can practice. Like. I could start paying attention to, like, how you react to things. I guess. But you know what I mean? Because I'm like, okay, well, I start here, right? Mm -hmm. But then I go this way. Is that right? And then this way? Yeah. And then, (laughs) I don't know. I'm too, I'm worried. Today with, uh, in the kids' class when we were teaching, um, I had the the little, little ones. And I had the the older kids. And uh, with the little ones, essentially, it got to the point that we were working... Today we're working close guard and a little bit of side control as well. But on side control, all I got to the person on the bottom would be like, hey, I need you to stand up to your feet. That was my only instruction. Person on top, once you have the position, it's like, hey. You need to stay on top. Don't let them, don't let them get up to their feet. Keep the pressure, hold them down. You had the littles or the big ones, would you say? Little, little ones. Oh. Yeah. So it was fun. It was fun. Our, our kid got a little frustrated, and then she started to tell me that her tummy hurt. Mm-hmm. And that's I her don't new feel thing. Good. Any, anytime that anything is like, and yeah, and any any sort of like somewhat negative feeling, mm-hmm. her tummy hurts. My she's, tummy hurts. She's tired. She was. Or no, no. I'm just saying, like, if she's tired, if she doesn't want to do like. She says it Listen, all the time. Her training partner, which has it has worked out great. Uh, our oldest, one of her, I guess, really good friends from school, mm-hmm. started training with us as well. And she has a sister that's our middle kid's age, age pretty much. All right, yeah. And they're about the same size. So, like, it worked out wonderful. I was that's like, awesome. Yeah, you have a training partner. You have a train. Let's go. Yeah. But, you know. Little ones, when they're starting, they don't give a fuck. They're harder <laughs> to control. They are, and they can't... don't necessarily under- understand. They're never going to understand, like, complex ideas unless you can make it super simple. Like, you need to try to stand up. That's what you're trying to do. Yeah. When I too feel like for them, they um don't understand, like, the why right, right. of it. You know what I mean? Like right, that like I don't of think like, they're bullies or anything. Like, like so when well, I say, "Hey," when someone if someone tries to beat you up, they're like, "The fuck is that?" Right, and they, it's a game so. to them. They're not. It's, it's not like, "Hey, I need to put my." At least I hope it is, you know. But you know, I mean, like they they can't think those like three steps ahead. Where like, hey, if I do no, yes. mount, I need to try to go for this. Or they're gonna do. You know what I mean? Like, right. No, no, that's and that's true. And and, and I mean, even our oldest one, like her journey so far. Oh, yeah. She she can do a lot of things from, like, you know, the, mm-hmm. when, when she, from the other school and her time there, she can do them. She doesn't necessarily know 
she doesn't necessarily puts names to moves. Mm -hmm. She's horrible at like names, which is concerning. Right. You are also horrible at names. But if I tell you like, hey, side control. Yeah. You, you there's certain thing mount. Not not that she doesn't. Those she super does, basic she ones, does yeah. know, know those, but like things like that, like you know ger general terminology. Very I feel like some of the ones that I still like. Like what? Well now I can't think of anything. But there's sometimes where I'm like, hey, like if we're watching like a fight, I'm like, hey, I've right. seen that move. I got you. Like I can't tell you what it's called. Okay. But anyway, night but now she's also like asking a lot of questions like, oh, hey, if I go into this and then I move here, can I do that? And she's starting to put moves to like the level of interest yeah. has changed and it's kind of cool. And her friend swears that she wants to do wrestling because I think she wants to do like pro wrestling. Okay. But um, so at the end, they were doing a little like stand up exercise where they were just trying to do takedowns. Mm hmm. And that turned into a little bit of a, a clown show for them. I feel like there, there is some crossover. Pro wrestling? No, 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 Like wrestling, wrestling. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a lot. I mean, it's grappling, right? Yeah. All the takedowns and stuff. Okay. Yeah, um, that's where I was getting at. It's like you can still teach jujitsu and make it like lean it towards wrestling if she wants to like. Right. Yes. You know. It would be hard because of the rule sets different and you're going for different things. Right. So like jujitsu... Obviously, the the biggest difference is you can fight off your back, right? Because with wrestling, wrestling, it's just if like your shoulders once are on you, the mat for three that's seconds. One, that's two, a three. pin, you know. Yeah. Um, so you you can teach someone to an extent, right? You know what I mean. But you got to let them know, be like, hey, you're not going to be playing a bottom game, right? Like, don't right. Don't right, think right. you're doing that. Here's a jits move that can help you in wrestling. Here's a wrestling move that can help you in jits. Right. Yeah. And you you'll just you'll recognize things a lot better too. Just because yeah. the two it, it is two types of grappling. But uh they do complement each other very well. Uh, speaking of compliments, um is uh does wrestling have gay moves like jits does? Gay moves? <laughs> Uh, I think any grappling sport where when a man is that close to another man, th there's just some inherent gayness that happens. I mean, a little bit. I think, and I think that's what like weirds me out sometimes about me going with like ra not random, but like other guys. Yeah, it's like I'll get a mount and I'm like, this is weird. I should not be on top of another man like this. <laughs> well, just th again, think of it in the I, context of a fight, though. I know, I know, but like. That's something I have to get used to. Right. Or I'll just go with I you guess. all the time. Yeah, I guess. Uh, no, it's... Uh, <laughs> no, or but invite, like, invite a friend, dude. Bring a friend. Most of my friends live like the opposite direction of work, not this way. Oh. Uh, I don't know then. Yeah. But no, like the move we were doing uh, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. We were doing like this and he kept like... Flipping his hand up. Exaggerating his yeah. flick of the wrist. And his fingers were just perfectly like, I don't know. It was just funny. It yeah. made me laugh. Well, uh, yeah. There's a lot of that to where like, oh, no, you have to slap this. And it's like, oh, okay. Yep. But, you spread your legs. And you spread them over here. Then you're just going to jerk this a little bit. It's yep. like, all right. <laughs> all right. Easy, cowboy grip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, there's that. Back takes are extremely gay. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, um, but it's gay and lethal. So like, I'm, yeah. I'm all right with that level of gay. Yeah, that's as gay as a oh, nice catch. <laughs> that was almost bad with all the electronics we mm -hmm. had on the table. Uh, no, yeah. If gay, just if gay that, is a spectrum, that's the level of spectrum that I'm comfort. It's very comfortable. With. It can be flamboyant. Yeah, very much so. It's uh, again. And to like, if you, ha I, I want to like, mic y'all up on class. No, you don't. Just to hear, okay, maybe not some of the like locker room talk or whatever, <laughs> but some of the noises that y'all probably make and like the random like, oh, let me, let me get your back, let me grab behind or like Dude, you're grabbing like listen. between their, let me grab between your legs, like oh, the, uh, and it, we're better at it now. Definitely, not like some things are just said, and if you're immature 
and you think immature things are funny and you have a tendency to giggle, sometimes you can't look at your friends right away. <laughs> but one, I, I'm immature and have that tendency. Once, once your friend is the one running the school and you're his assistant instructor <laughs> and there are kids that you're teaching, right. but one of you says, come on, finish them off. <laughs> You can't make eye contact with your friend at that moment. You have to give it a solid 10 seconds. <coughs> Otherwise, this will happen. <coughs> and never mind the fact that we already told, uh, I, I don't know, some poor kid to finish off another kid. <laughs> but his parents are sitting right behind us and they can hear us telling everything the instructor. And all they're hearing is, come on, finish him off. Yeah. Get on top and finish him off. Uh, the, so, so they're, you know. It's that whole like uh, weird announcer thing. Like, <laughs> my anus hurts. My anus is hurting. My anus. My anus is really taking a pounding here. <laughs> so it's uh, it happens. And, yeah. and again, with when one of your good friends is the dude, you know, like there is a lot of fun that we have in the adult class. So one of this the uh, one of the new uh, dudes that that's training with us. Uh, he, uh, I didn't know, like, you know me, I, I don't necessarily, I try to get a read on people. Was he one see. of those two guys that were together? No, okay. no, he wasn't there Saturday. Although okay. like, I did tell him, I was like, Hey man, like my whole family was here Saturday. Mm -hmm. If, if like he worries and it's a concern that, you know, fathers, I guess the good ones have, Hey man, like I have kids, it's the weekend. Like, I don't want to just leave the kids at home with my wife and this and that. And I was, my, my solution was, Hey, convert your entire family yeah, to start training and then they can all be here. But, uh, at the same time, at the end I was like, dude, just bring your kid. Cause like, he's like, yeah, I tried to bring her once, but like, you know, she, she got bored and she wanted to hang out with me and I couldn't really train. And I was like, yeah, but like if there are other kids here, right. Kids don't necessarily want to hang out with us. Right. Like, they don't necessarily give a fuck if there well, are other kids to play with. Well, and also, too, like, give it a shot. Yeah, try if, it. If she starts acting up and you have to leave 30 minutes in. At least you got 30 in. Right. And, like, Saturdays right now, they're more of an open mat anyway, so it's... Well, and it's very chill, too. It's not like it's like a classroom where your kid has to be quiet and sit still and, you know no, what I mean? Like, yes, like I we're said, learning. It is space, and as long as they stay out of the room, that... Yeah relatively quiet you don't want them screaming and shit well, over instruction and too but... like our oldest is a pretty good wrangler <laughs> yeah yeah you know i mean like she would make it fun and she would make it like a a babysitting gig right she but, would think it's the coolest thing ever uh but anyway so today he was uh as we were talking about that and he said oh, i wasn't here saturday i was like oh you should have come and brought your kid and he's like yeah no i was hanging out with my wife and and her brother or brother-in-law his brother-in-law, uh, either way. Wife and wife's family. Right. So, and he's like, yeah, like, I asked her. I was like, I told her that your wife would be here. She's just not interested. And uh, my brother-in-law was just like, oh, yeah, that's crazy that you do that and this and that. And I was like, well, why don't you just invite them to, like, come here and check it out? Right. And then he goes, uh, he's kind of a PC bitch. And I don't want to ruin the vibe you guys got going on here. And I was just like, thanks, man. I was wow. like, I appreciate that you understand what we're going. Like, it's wow. not. Listen, as long as you don't take yourself too serious. Yeah. And you come in and you can joke around. It's friends. We're all friends literally hanging out, learning to hurt people. Right. And we joke around. It's a, it's a room full of dudes in their 30s. 20s and 30s. Yeah, yeah. like there's going to be jokes that we like. And the worst things that we say generally are to each other. The ones that we like, like the most, we get along with the most are the ones we say the worst things to. Yeah. And uh, I, I respect that he, he was just like, no, I don't want to ruin what we have going on here. It's too PC. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, good censoring. Okay. Keep him the fuck out of here. If he's too sensitive, he probably doesn't belong here. <laughs> but... That's kind of fun uh, that I'm not the only one that cares about shit like that. Well, it's nice because if you have somebody that comes in where you're worried about what you're saying, then like 
you can't focus on the jits because you're worried yeah. about what you're saying and well, doing. And you know me, like especially if it's a good role and we're working on like a good pace, not trying to kill each other, you're going to start talking. Yeah. And like... I'm generally trying to, like, just talk shit to get people to laugh. Oh, yeah. Same. So, like, I can't... I don't do that, first of all, with people, brand new people. I don't necessarily know them. So I try to, you know, get a feel, see what's going on. Yeah. Before I finish them off. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I'm glad. I'm glad he, he, he out of his own... um, On his own accord kind of threw that out there. He's like, he's no, like, he's... Nah. he's too much no, of a thanks. pussy. I, I, well, and too, I like, I love his honesty. Cause some people would be like, yeah, that's not for him. Or yeah, no, what, like make some no, excuse. But he was like, like, just nope. his, I don't want to hang out with him. His vibe is not going to match this and it's going to mess like, it up. I'm fed up with everywhere else that I hang out with. That's like politically correct and fucking boring and right. very offended by everything. And you guys are not like that. I was like, no, we are. Yeah. We are pretty chill. Also, it's nice to, like, hang out with people that, how do I put this, understand jokes and references. Mm -hmm. Well, and understand, uh, like, it's just a joke, nothing more, nothing less, like, laugh right. and move on. Right, but, like, if I quote some dumb fucking movie, like, they'll understand. Yeah. Other than Napoleon Dynamite was the only fucking dumb movie I can quote at the other place. Oh, I was feeling really but targeted for a second there. Targeted? Yeah. Oh, no. Because I, you can't, you can't, I don't understand yeah, your movie no, 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 no. You don't under, understand shit. But yeah, no. But like with, with a bunch of dudes, like understanding yes. references yes. goes a long way with the jokes, you know, but. Mm. Anyway, bitch, I think I'm kind of done. I do need to go. Into the office tomorrow, so... Hang on. Can I talk about one more thing? We can. We'll wrap up on, on this one. There's one more thing, because it was relevant. That's why I started talking about jits. Um, okay. After jujitsu, mm -hmm. do you remember what happened? Uh, We went to we eat. We were all hungry. We were all hungry. And so we were like, well, oh, let's grab, let's grab some food now. on the way home. Not on the way home. We were... We're going to get some food. Originally, yes. it started out, we were going to go get Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. We headed towards Jimmy John's. And then I was like, ooh, Chick-fil-A sounds good. Head yeah. towards Chick-fil-A. These are all like in the same area. Mm -hmm. And then as we pass, as we get towards Chick-fil-A, we're like, oh, oh shoot. Stupid loose. Culver's is right next door. Like, and I had never it. been. I've only been once. You have been once with one of the girls. The middle one. With the middle one. Um, and they had good ice cream. Mm -hmm. So we're like, cool, let's go to the drive-thru, get some burgers and ice cream. Cool. Get your fat ass up there, pile! Um, yeah, we were being fat. We just burned a bunch of calories. It's fine. Uh -huh. um, so you go and you order. You're like, hey, we'll start, I, with the, start with the easy orders, the kids' menus. Hey, kids' I burgers, thought, kids burgers, chocolate shake. Which, again, I'm not going into like a place that doesn't have shakes. It's advertised on the fucking board in front of us. Well, and it's not like you're getting like a, a I don't know, something crazy. Like, burger, chocolate shake. Not hard. And again, it's I'm going off of their menu. Right. Reading straight from the menu. It says shakes. It says flavors. It says chocolate, vanilla, yeah. strawberry. Sure did. Chocolate shake. And then she's like, what do you want? No. What, what, what she did was, let's see if I can recreate it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds a lot more like it. <laughs> one scoop? Yeah. Yeah. She's talking about, she started talking about like one, like a scoop. One scoop. One scoop. And we were like, what do you what do you mean one scoop? Like it's not a scoop thing. It's just no. a shake. It, that, and I tried and to And then she started talking twice. about like Oreos and, and cookie crumble filling and cookies I, and cream. Uh, I did not like, understand what she was saying. And I, I tried heard, twice. Very like very calm. I had just gotten out of jujitsu. I had worked away some of the anger. Yeah. And I was I was calm. You tried so for so long too, and I'm I'm impressed with you for trying. There was as again, long as you did. When we got online, there was a car in front of us, no one behind us. Yeah. And then in the what felt like seven fucking minutes to order a milkshake, and it went and then no and then and then no and then. That that's what it felt like. 
Yeah, it did. there was a fucking line building behind us too at this point. Yeah, and then you tried to like switch it up. You're like, okay, then the malt chocolate malt shake or whatever. Yeah, and then she still was like, <laughs> uh, scoop, and we're like, what are you talking? about? She kept asking about scoops. And we're like, what do you mean scoop? Like it's a milkshake. Yeah, however many scoops you use to make the milkshake, I don't know the recipe. Thirty two. Right. Uh, yeah, it got, it got to the point that surprisingly, I was like, you know what, just fucking cancel this uh, i'm done yeah you're like and uh, i pulled out you said, just you know I, just cancel my order and then we drove away <laughs> yeah and we went next door to chick-fil-a where they had a pretty long line but uh, and we got through yeah like that very quick efficient and it was their pleasure it was they spelled your name wrong gabetti yellow or whatever. it was like gabe rail i mean yeah. G A B E like R I A L. Gay Brial. It was weird. <laughs> it was funny because in line too at Chick fil A, um, you know, the first person takes your order and then there was a second person that was like verifying your order. And Dude, they, like, we and heard again, them calling over, like, hey, do you guys know how to change somebody's like spelling of their name the, on their they, order? But like he was right next to our open window. He just like turned his he back just, to us. Yeah, he turned his head like, to the do side. I, do I have to fix his fucking name? Because this, this looks stupid. This doesn't look like it's spelled right and i wanted to like pitch in and be like it's okay dude right no big deal dude not a big deal can you just get some nugs and whatever right. else we got as long as you get my order right i really don't give a shit what name you put on that ticket right that you're the, the correct order will pleasure me right <laughs> <laughs> you guys were already able to understand frosted lemonade i think we've made progress here my okay. kids are getting some fucking frozen drinks right the nine-year-old ordered her own God meal from damn. the back and they understood her that too fuck dude yeah no i don't and it's a shame because like the time that i did try culver's it wasn't bad it wasn't bad from what i remember and the ice cream that we brought home we brought home like a bunch of pints pints of ice cream that they sell that was good they were good so maybe there is an issue with the speaker maybe they just hired fucking charlie's brown charlie brown's fucking parents and they shouldn't have what what that's that's literally who was working. It was Mrs. Brown. She's got a fucking Saturday job to ruin fucking customers' day. Where she's Mrs. like, Brown. Hey, Charlie Brown. His, his mom would be Mrs. Brown. No, I know. Mrs. Brown is just on the counter. She's like, wah, 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 one scoop. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, wah, wah, wah. I'm a dingling. Uh, but yeah, no. Oh. We did not get fucking <laughs> chocolate shake. That didn't happen. We got our frosted but, lemonade though. Yeah, no. And then Except Chick fil A doesn't have peach milkshakes anymore, which is bullshit. But no, that's, they have some peppermint whatever now, right? Gross. Isn't that peppermint chocolate? Right? Peppermint bark? Is that cho- peppermint chocolate or just peppermint? Know. You sounded like you liked it when I read it. No, I was excited for the oldest because she likes chocolate and mint stuff. And this is the time of year where that stuff is everywhere. Psychotic for you to act the way you did then. You're like, ooh, yum. Did I? Yeah. Then I was like, all right, maybe she likes peppermint. That's a first. Uh, I thought I was just like, hey, kid, you would like that. No, you definitely didn't say that. You didn't even point at her at all. Maybe I was looking at her. I was definitely looking at her. I don't know. But. uh, I mean, maybe I'll give it a try. Who knows? Last thing for the weekend. And we do have to get the fuck out of here. Um, But we took the kids to Carowinds for their winter fest. We did. We went to the winter fest at Carowinds. And it was. uh, Yeah, it was. It was. On event. This is going to sound shitty, but it's kind of underwhelming. Yeah. Like my mom went last year with my sister and her family and kept talking about how it was like this most magical thing. And she just wanted to cry because it was just so magical and just screams Christmas and it's perfect. And and like, maybe she wanted to cry because she needed to refill her meds. We were just, I mean, probably, um, we rode rides in the dark with like some Christmas lights. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe we were rushing through and like missed some stuff. I don't think we did. What, what did he, what could we have missed for the kids? Uh, I don't know. There were some shows. There was a parade that we got out of there right before they started, mm-hmm. which I think, strategically speaking, genius. 
Yeah, it but, worked out. I really wanted to see the parade, but like, no, we had to. It was a school night. Parades are fucking lame. I like parades. But, psh, anyway, you're lame, douche nozzle. Um, I have to try to sleep, but I probably will not. Um, I will probably try to stay awake and end up passing out. Yeah, that's that's our life. Woo. Anyway, I will. I love you. And I will see you cunts next Tuesday. Love you. I'll see you next Tuesday. I don't give a fuck. Go fuck yourself. Is that fair? I hope it is.